Hi, I'm Heidi Joy Trethewey with the OpenStack Foundation, and I'm here with my colleague, Terry Carez, who is Vice President of Engineering for the OpenStack Foundation. And Terry, thank you. Today we're talking about Stackalytics. So thanks for joining us. Can you tell us a little bit what is Stackalytics, first of all? Yeah, so Stackalytics is a, a website that has all kinds of, of metrics on contributor activity, like number of commits, number of reviews, uh, which uh, company or organization they are affiliated with, and so that, that's a convenient website to go to, to to get an idea of like who is contributing to a given project or uh, what, 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 is, what are the projects that some contributors are working on. Yeah. And so can you give us a little background about the history of Stackalytics and where we're at now? So it was originally created uh, by Mirantis as, as a, like an independent uh, source of information to, to get the, uh, an idea of which companies were leading on which development, which project. And uh, uh, it was m uh, migrated to uh, the OpenStack infrastructure project. So now it's more run um, uh, by the OpenStack infrastructure team, but it's still heavily uh, maintained by uh, people that come out of uh, Mirantis originally. And, um, and it's, it's, it's basically evolved uh, the, from, from where it was current, uh, before to, to the current situation. So here at the summit and the forum, we're talking about Stackalytics. What are some of the discussions about it? So it was uh, one topic of discussion we had. Like, so we did a 40-minute session on the future of Stackalytics. Because on, on the one hand, it's a very convenient way to uh, uh, get numbers on, on the projects. But uh, on the other hand, it also um, provides wrong incentives to contribute to projects. So you end up with a lot of like empty commits or, or uh, empty reviews just so that your, your scores go up. And so as a, as a way to incentivize the right behavior, it's not working at all for us. So the discussion was about, should we keep Stackalytics? Should we evolve it? What should we, what should we do with it? And it was a lively discussion with, with lots of uh, various opinions, like uh, engineering team managers saying that they actually rely on that to, to get an idea of what their teams are working on, or developers complaining about uh, those, those type of commits. Uh, that are not really useful and that are incentivized by, um, by the current Stagalytics uh, forms. And the conclusion of that discussion, we managed to get to reach some kind of a consensus at the end, uh, was that we should probably not kill Stagalytics because like metrics, uh, um, having numbers is good, uh, but we should definitely make another way of, of um, driving the right behavior hammers. Like, um, uh, um, have, have a list like, of strategic goals that people could, could sign up for, for doing and give proper credit to those who actually sign up for that so that we have more, more of a strategic approach to contribution rather than very tactical numbers. And then um, finalize the migration of Stagalytics to the OpenStack infrastructure team because it's still work in progress. Um, and, and then maybe retire the most deceiving graphs um, that, that are produced out of Stagalytics like because we have like graphs by default that show commits over all the OpenStack projects, and it's like adding apple to apples to oranges, and it's it doesn't yeah. the numbers don't really add up, uh, or are so yeah we'll probably evolve stack analytics and and complement it with something that drives better uh, better behavior or more useful behavior for our community. Yeah. So I'm hearing you say some of the structure of Stackalytics and the, uh, the rewards that are attached to Stackalytics kind of invites people to game the system, as well as some of the ways that it's set up are uh, not necessarily comparable. Um, you, can't, you can't compare them. Um, well, tell me more generally, looking at the forum itself, um, I've been hearing in the hallway is a lot of folks talking about how often they're seeing users and developers talking face to face and how great that is. Um, what are some of your impressions? on how the forum has gone now that we're, we're here on Thursday, uh, just kind of wrapping up the summit. I think it's been great because uh, there, we had that invisible bar barrier between operators and, and, and developers in, in previous design summits, mostly because the space was branded either operator or developer, and that created, uh, um, that created a sense that some people were, were just invited in the session and not really part of it. Uh, and the new branding around, around a forum event where everyone is welcome to participate to the discussion as long as they are interested in the topic really uh, removed that invisible barrier and it's like a single team working together toward a goal rather than like two different groups trying to have competing interests around it. Like uh, uh, an anecdote, uh, 
we, that we used to have lots of us versus them discussions in, in, those, in those rooms. And during this week, it's only always we. Like, we as a group need to reach an objective. So perception matters. Those invisible barriers hurt us in the, in the past. And I'm, I'm happy to see that the, the, the forum has been uh, just reformatting how we think about those events, how we communicate about them was enough to drive the right type of collaboration between those two groups. So it's a huge leap of faith on your part and the foundation's part to really change up this whole um, d development process and cycle as well as the structure of the forum and then the newly launched um, pro project teams gathering. Um, what, what do you think is uh, maybe a misconception that you're helping to clear up now? Um, people uh, misinterpreting, I, I see still quite a few questions. So um, what, what would you share to, to help people think about the forum and the next um, project teams gathering that's that's coming up in September. Um, so the forum is really for everyone in the community to get together. Mm -hmm. uh, like we have representation of all the segments of our community. So uh, developers on OpenStack, developers on other open source projects, users of OpenStack clouds, operators and deployers of OpenStack clouds, or, 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 or like people that just, just have vendors that have products built on OpenStack. It's really a unique opportunity to hear from, from everyone. And, and um, so having the forum um, and removing the work sessions that the developers used to do during the summit week is really freeing up a lot of time for everyone to engage with, with another. And, and during this week, it was pretty obvious that everyone had more time to engage, reach out to other uh, uh, people from different origins in our community. Mm -hmm. And that was really good. Um, so we invite, uh, we need to have developers coming to the summit, we need to have everyone in the community come into the summit, um, especially if you're originally close to, to the, the area where, where the, the next summit happens, you should, should take the opportunity to join there. Um, the project team gathering is a slightly different approach, it's, it's more for project teams to get together to organize the work for the, for the upcoming uh, development cycle, so it's more like a work environment. If you're part of a team, if you, if you identify as a part of the team, then you will be much more productive if you spend that week at the beginning of the cycle with all your other team members. So it's a way, to me, it's a way to, to um, drive productivity in those teams. Mm -hmm. So it's more a question of employers sending whoever is, is, is participating to those teams uh, uh, to send them to that event to, yeah. to make sure that uh, they're actually given all the chances to be very productive over the next six months. It's a slightly different approach, a slightly different theme, and, and sli slightly different vibe as well, like much more work work at the, at the PTG, much more like engagement, community, uh, 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 reach out uh, to the discussions here. And, and I think two, two, two events complement well each other. Yeah, very good. Well, thank you very much. Um, and we're looking forward to seeing more what comes out of the forum. Sure, thank you.